the related contacts, right? So, yeah. New. First, the input should be account, right? So I need account input. So I'll take like a variable. Here, data type I'll take directly record. That also is possible for me. It's not like only you need to take uh, this one, what ID description separately. You can also say record as a reference. Okay. Okay. Now, this is an input from whenever the you are going to call this process, I mean, this flow, you need to pass account record as an input. Yeah. Now, what I'll do, we have account, it's account record, right? We need to get a related contacts first. Yeah. Contacts. Contacts. So, here, what is the S of this type? Contact. And conditions are met. What is the condition? Account, account ID equals to account dot ID. Okay. Yeah, right. Account input dot ID. This is the input. Now only one record? No, all records I need to store. Okay. When records are consider that if the account have no contacts, I can say no records are returned. Set specified variables to null. Yeah, I'm making it as a null, okay, and I'm creating a new collection variable to store. Collection variable is of type record and allow multiple values to save. Contacts list, okay, mm -hmm. and then this is an object of contact. Save. I created one variable now, so I'll assign that variable to the get records. Okay. Store. I have account record, so which is getting recorded. Now I need to iterate. Now I need to iterate. Yeah. So loop. Contact. Description. Update. Assign me. Assign me. Okay. And variable is that you need to create. This is a loop variable. Select a collection, right? We are selecting mm -hmm. a collection. And then first item to last item, first variable to a last type value. We need to create a loop variable. Loop variable is the for loop. Inside for loop, what will define always? For mm -hmm. it is an i equal to 0, i plus plus. i is a for loop variable here, right? So to hold the loop, uh, loop variable, variable data. Loop data. Exactly. Loop data. Variable. And loop data is of record type. Contract underscore. I will say loop for my identification. Mm -hmm. Contact. So now I'll assign contact loop. So my loop is created. So what I'll do? I'll call my loop variables. And then what I need to do? I need to do an assignment, isn't it? Yeah. I'm assigning values. Let's say here it's a description. Mapping. I'm just mapping field. So loop variable description equals account input description. Whether the, whether if I pass like this, whether it is a pass by reference or a pass by value. Contact loop is a pass by reference or pass by a value. It's a pass by reference. Pass by reference. So if I update loop variable, actually it update to contact list only, right? Yeah. Oh, so in that case, what I'm indirectly I'm updating contact list with the account description, right? Yeah. So this is the first item for each item in the collection. Once it is done, you need to go back to the loop. I mean, you need to say whether this loop is complete again for loop, you need to execute, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it means. One thing is coming down, one thing is going up, isn't it? Yeah. This is a, for each item. And then what this is like always a side, let it be. And now we need to update records, right? Update. Update contacts. Using IDs, yes. What is the record variable we have? 
contact list after last item after all iterations what is the last item last item we are updating back to contacts say update contact description back Update contact description, activate. Now we need to call process builder, process builder, new account description, update record changes, which object? When your record is created, no, I do tell you. and then I will say description. So I need to check whether description is changed, then only I need to pass description mm -hmm. is change boolean equal to true, but like. Uh, if you are uh, updating when already records are created, contacts are there and uh, the contacts have the different uh, value. So we are overriding it. Generally, we are not considering whatever it has. We are overriding for a flow. That's what we are doing. Okay. We are just overriding. Mm -hmm. Update description. So we are not, I mean, uh, developing things so concrete way. We are just mm. seeing a concept. Difference is there. Yeah. And variable, field reference. And I will say that a record that started your process. That's it. Account record is possible. Activate. Back to setup. Behave differently. Contacts, I will go contacts only. Unique. Is this related to accounts? Details. Open the right account. Right here, description is blank for now. All right. Details. Here, I will update my description. It is still no. Say. So now I'll refresh my contact details. Why it is Here is the process. Process builder. Update description. Does not require to. Thank 
Only first two part condition karma ID equals only first two part required variable. Point I selected other account. This is account indicator. New resource. Save resource. Account. Select the transfer. Account. It's my bad, right? Completely. I'm querying, but I'm not adding a field called description in the select statement. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Description equal to null, 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 null. Everywhere it is null. Why null? Hmm. We need to analyze a little bit more. So we are getting data and what are account selected are description only. Here we have account selection found list. And whatever we are updating is contact list. Sorry. So what is saying Google Plus? It is assigning loop assignment. Whose ID stored in contact list? Where is it? Description name ready to be updated. So nothing is changed. Value is passing, but it is not changing. Manage the new report. Variable updated contact list. Data type record allow multiple contact. And then what I'll do, I'll just do another assignment. We add to new collection. Add to new collection. And I'll say update contact list yard of loop variable. So first I'm updating my loop and I'm taking that reference to my reference. Now we'll say save as save debug it's not updated. The ID for this is for the account main ID or contact ID or which ID? Contact main ID or the account ID only. Close the condition lower I'll check on it. Uh, this one it should ideally it should work. Let's say no, why it is not. It is taking even if it is assigning contact and. Getting contacts is fine. Let's say one more time I said it. Here it is getting like description and contact. Only it is adding this one only. Okay. Get contact. Here description is added. And here you can see only what it is adding here you can see updated list contact mm -hmm. only description is not adding right yeah only first record is adding record id is adding updated list contacts of this one and description is contact loop is this updated contact is too many okay one more here it is loop is added Updated contact list, one record is added. Loop through, okay. another one is coming up. Test flow, and it is adding second record, thought record, everything. But here, what I'm doing account selected dot description. Okay. Contact loop, correct only. Updated description. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. description is added. So debug statement it is coming. Even if I'm adding it, even if I'm adding it to it, so loop variable is already having the data. When it comes to this, we got variable to come. Updated contact list. Now it got it. <coughs> Process filter. 
account description account description of it open it clone it Account ID input field open then activate Updated fine from pro is updating now. Yeah. So you want me to explain or you understood this? What I have written? Mm, just explain one. Okay. Till here you know. Right? Yeah. Till loop. So here what I did, I'm iterating assignment is also done. But actually, it is not taking pass by reference. So only, even though we are thinking that we are updating, it is taking as a null only because it is taking as a pass by value. Mm -hmm. Now what I did, I created another loop variable saying that updated contact list. Okay. You got it. Updated contact list is my another resource that I created. Why I created? Within the loop, I am updating using for loop, right? Mm -hmm. Loop variable. And then in the next assignment, I am assigning that loop variable to my, not assigning, I am adding that loop variable to my new contact list. Now what happening, this loop variable have an updated description. Yeah. That is putting back to the updated contact list. Mm -hmm. We are coming inside for loop. After for loop completed, we need to go back to for loop to execute next iteration, right? I mean last line. Yeah. If you don't mention this line, system will never know when I when this need to go back and check for a next iteration. Mm -hmm. Consider that if this for loop is not done, now how system will get to know my record is already completed. Execution of first record. Yeah. So we need to put back. Once the process for loop iteration is done, we need to put back to the for loop again. Mm -hmm. Once then, after for loop execution, it will come out and it will do a update. I mean, update, it doesn't mean that update, you can continue with other processes. Here, mm -hmm. our process is ultimate target is to update contact. So, I am updating for a new list. I mean, updated contact list, the one I manipulated in second step here. Yeah. Before what we did, we thought, I asked you a question, is this a pass by value or pass by reference? Mm -hmm. I even I was expecting that it is a pass by reference. But actually the outcome, after seeing an outcome in the debug statement, it is showing that it's a pass by value. Yeah. So we are capturing those values to a new collection object and we are updating that. Yeah. Clear? Yeah. Now share your screen. 